Hi guys, it's Nuf from Better Music's acoustic section. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of mating on mating action here. So we've got the two main sizes. We've got the Dreadnought and the famous little 808, the little pocket rocket. Okay, so Maiden in uh, probably in the last 12 months brought out this fantastic all Blackwood series guitar. All Blackwood, top, back, sides, all Blackwood. These guys are even throwing in a hard case with it. So a couple of the great little features. It comes with the standard, the AP5 Pro pickup on board. Uh, how do they sound? They're a bit, well they are, they're quite different, I think, to the standard SRS 70 range or the 60s, even up to the Messiahs, the Australians, that sort of thing. How does it differ? I think they're a little bit more organic sounding personally, uh, quite rich. They tick a lot of boxes. I think that's that's the key. They they do that pop sound really well. They do that singer songwriter kind of overtone really really well. The pickups on board reacts completely different with a complete uh, uh, blackwood. Oh, did I mention that they're solid as well? But so the pickup in uh, working with an all solid guitar, an all blackwood guitar, it's just quite different. Personally. I don't hear a lot of the fizz, especially in the live situations. Uh, I've been out and seen a lot of people now using the 808 uh, Blackwood series as well as the Dreadnoughts, more so the the 808s. And I've got to tell you that 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 quacky that that quacky fizz kind of sound that you would normally hear from any Pisa or any Pisa that we've listened to in the last 30 years, it's almost non-existent. Uh, I think it's quite unique to this series, but look, it's. The, the model's been out, the series, sorry, it's been out for, let's say, about a year, or coming up a year, and I think this is possibly one of the best things Maiden have ever come out with. Uh, yeah, it's an absolute little success story for them. Okay, now we're moving on to the pickups and preamps of these guitars. We've switched out the mics, so they're off. It's just the preamps on board. Um, so now we're going to start with the Maiden. Uh, this is the EBW 70C C for the cutaway, uh, and again, all Blackwood because that's what we're looking at here today. All Blackwood guitars. Um, this is the AP5 Pro pickup preamp system from Maiden. Uh, just a quick overview again, we've got the standard volume treble bass controls. It has this sort of uh, let's call it a parametric um, mid range control where you can select mid-range frequency you're after and then you can choose to cut or boost it you know uh, you set it to your own personal taste or depending on the different kind of room that you're playing in at the time um, uh, something that's pretty popular everyone's sort of blending the whole piezo or piezo however you want to say it tomato tomato uh, and the mic as well so we've got the piezo and the mic control on here so we can blend them um, however we wish uh, so for this uh, I've got the volume, uh, pretty, it's pretty much cranked, and the piezo, I've got it dialed right up. I'm going to start with just the piezo. The mic is off, the internal mic is off, and the mics down the front are off as well. So let's have a quick listen. Okay, so that was just the, the piezo. I'm going to switch the piezo right off. And we're going to bring the mic up. Um, now, depending on your live setting, I would always bring the mic up to the piezo. Just for feedback issues, on stage noise, things like that. It's a nice little addition. But what, let's, just for all intents and purposes right now, we're just going to listen to the mic. So the mic's at about three quarters. Everything else, flat as a tack.
Okay, so that's the internal mic for the Maiden AP5 Pro pickup. Um, now I'm just gonna move it back to a typical setting. So pulling that mic right back, I'm gonna set that piezo back at about the three quarter mark, and I'm gonna bring the mic up to a little less than half. Now how do I know when it's halfway? Maiden have been really considerate here and they've put these little notches. You can feel it, you'll feel where the halfway point is. So I've put it just before halfway. Uh, again, in a live setting, you've got to sort of set that to taste. Just be aware of your on-stage volume because it is a mic. It's facing forward probably towards some stage monitors. So just be mindful of that. So this is a pretty cool, pretty typical setup. Pretty cool. So with that mic that you blend into the piezo, you can start to get a little bit more of that organic tone, a bit more of the, uh, uh, let's call it the pick noise, should you want that pick noise. Or, you know, for that matter, um, if I bring that, bump that mic up just over halfway, I'm just gonna, I'll try and do something a little bit finger style. It's really cool for things like that, but uh, I was running the mic pretty hard there, so a lot of the times you probably run that a little bit softer into the piezo, but it's such an iconic sound, uh, and the mic just gives you just that little bit more, uh, opens up the dynamic range of this guitar. What a great little machine. Okay, so with the Maiden, uh, EBW808C, again, C is for the cutaway. Um, and the B in the EBW is Blackwood. Um, again, it's also fitted with the AP5 Pro pickup. I'll take you through where I've got this guy set, just so we're all talking about the same thing. The mic's down the front. They're not on. We're just listening to the, the preamp at the moment. So the sort of mini parametric mid-range control, whatever you want to call it, is all set flat. Uh, the bass and treble, flat. Uh, the mic I've got at about that 35-40%. And the piezo I've got pretty well dialed, um, sort of at least three quarters. Um, just so we can do a bit of a, you know, have a listen to this against the Dreadnought. Um, a big misconception uh, with the 808s, thinking that it's a small guitar, small sound. I'll let you be the judge. All right, have a listen. Pretty nice. What I'm going to do, um, I'm not even going to touch the settings now. Uh, I'm just going to try something finger style because uh, a lot of the time uh, small guitars do appeal to the guys and the girls who want to play more finger style for that more articulate kind of tone. Um, let's have a go. <laughs> I'm gonna to wanna to see your comments, because <laughs> this is a cracker. Um, there you go, guys, that is the AP5 Pro pickup on the 808 Blackwood.